Harley! Got something yummy. Here you go. So I just made a, like a scramble with peppers and egg and onion. Um, ham and cheese, just because I don't really know how to make anything else. And this is what I'm gonna eat. It looks pretty bomb. So I have a fitting in a little bit for some party this um, week, I think. They're gonna dress me, so me and my stylist are gonna go to the store. Zad... I don't know, I'm not even gonna try to say it because I'm gonna not say it right. Gonna go to the store and pick out a cool outfit. And then who knows what else I'm gonna do. I'll show you what I'm wearing. Bop, 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 bop. Best part about this look, definitely the shoes. Um, I'm wearing these shoes from Windsor Store. These jeans are from Acne. Um, the shirt, super cute from RUMI. And then this jacket I just got from like a thrift store and I just cut it at the bottom. And then I'm just wearing this fat choker and I don't like to wear any makeup when I go to fittings just because you're like trying on clothes and I don't want to get foundation and stuff on the clothes. That would be embarrassing. Whatever, my whole stomach's out. I let Harley out to go play outside um, and oh my gosh, I'm gonna make myself some coffee. This best coffee ever. I really can't talk, it's so early. All right, this chai latte, insane, so good. You don't have to put any sugar or cream, any sort of that in there, sweetener. It's just perfect. So, let's... Bing, bing, my verified cup. <laughs> this dog needs to know how to relax. Relax. Um, so, I'm very concerned now because I just came outside and it's really hot, Harley. It's really hot and I'm wearing jeans and jacket. This is the struggle. Can you say hi? Can you say hi? Look how pretty this dog is. Ew. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. Bye. So, ow, I just hit my head. So since it was hot, I decided that I would take off the jacket. And the shoes looked like a little bit weird without the jacket. So I just put on these heels. Pop, pop. Um, and then these sunglasses too. Sunglasses are from Sorella Boutique. And poor Harley has to be put away because I gotta leave, I'm sorry. Just kidding, these are way cooler. Okay, Uber's here. So we're here, it's Zadig and Voltaire. That's how we're assuming how you say it, so. Um, we're picking out some clothes. Do you wanna say hi? This is Danny. What's up? <laughs> so yeah, we just kinda have free reign and choosing an outfit. eating my um, earth down the street at a um, different place where there's seats because earth is just such a sceny place. And basically everyone there stares at you and I just didn't feel like dealing with that at all. But I still wanted to stay in the area so I wasn't gonna go home. But I'm eating this bomb thingy. And I also got the kids mac and cheese for the side. They messed it up. They messed it up. They messed up my order. They didn't give me the mac and cheese. I just got another panini. Show you what I got from Mac. So I stopped by Mac because I haven't been to Mac in so, so long. Like I don't even remember the last time I bought something from there. But I knew that like I wanted some brushes that from there for sure. I needed like new nice brushes. Um, and then I went in there and I fell in love with like a bunch of stuff. So I'll show you what I got. So these are the brushes I got. I got this 217 blending brush because I needed like a nice blending brush that's like kind of small. All my other ones are like really big and fluffy. Um, then here is the 239, 
which is just a nice one to pack on color with. Then I also got this one because I thought it'd be good for like an inner, inner corner color or like underneath your eyes for highlighting and stuff. And this one, I was just like really interested by. Okay, this is a great angle, but this is it. Um, I think it's like gonna be for concealer or maybe like a cream contour or something. I look so funny. Then there's these brand new eyeshadows that I fell in love with, so I got three of them. Um, they're called the um, Spellbinder Shadows. So it's like a loose pigment, but it's magnetic and it's like held in by a magnet, which is what the girl was telling me. Um, and I'll show you them because they're just like ridiculously pigmented. Here they are. Oh my gosh, right? I know. So like they look like velvet. They're actually loose powders, but just held in with a magnet. She said like if it like spills out, you could like put it back in and then it like holds it in. Um, these two look pretty similar, but I'll swatch them to show you. So here they are. They're so pretty and glittery and I literally just tapped my finger in there and that's how much came out of it. Then I got vanilla pigment. Um, I just wanted something that I could like wet my brush with and then put it on my inner corner that would be super bright and super pigmented because I don't really have any sort of shadow or color for that and I've been really wanting one. That's it right there. Guys, it's so pretty. I'm obsessed with these. Then I got this little palette so that I could put my foundations and stuff on here without having to get my hands all dirty. So you just kind of order that. Look, you can see me. Then lastly, I got a mineralized glass. Glass? Yeah, mineralized glass. In Loving Yours. So I'm actually wearing this now. I'll show you again. I'm actually gonna um, touch up. <laughs> see? It's like so simple, but I just really am liking light colored, glossy lips right now. So I'm obsessed with this one. So that's all I got. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I am so lit off the coffee right now that I'm like sprinting, running around, playing music and just like recording myself on Snapchat. You know, the usual. So I tweeted that I was, um, vlogging and if there was any like sort of topic you wanted me to answer or talk about and someone said a tweet about um how do you find confidence especially when you're like a shy timid person and that is something i'm gonna let you in on what worked for me because i really am a shy reserved i don't like open up to a lot of people like just like that um and that always was hard for me because people would be like afraid of me they thought that I was being rude or like judging them and stuff just because I was quiet but it was low-key because I was like thinking they were judging me and I was too scared to talk you know that kind of thing um but what I've learned is you can fake it you just have to fake it till you make it pretend like you know what you're talking about pretend like you have confidence and then soon it will like build up your actual confidence to speak to people and make new friends and like meet new people i can say this because that was me i was just so scared of like social settings because i didn't want to be put in a situation where i felt uncomfortable and like weird and like didn't know what to say so i would kind of like avoid those in general uh, but ne what I've learned, and it's like so silly, but it actually works. So if you want to try this out, if you want to be more outgoing as a person, but you're just a little bit too shy. Um, one thing to remember also is that um, people, most people are insecure also, you know? So while you're thinking like, oh my god, they're judging what I'm saying, they're also thinking the same thing. And... If they don't seem like that, then they're just probably putting on a fake um, confidence also. Or they really did learn that it. everyone is like, everyone has flaws, everyone is a little bit insecure. So like, why does it matter what you say? Like if someone else judges you, it's like, really? Like you're gonna judge me, but what about you? That kind of thing. So just start acting, like acting like you're confident. So if someone's like, hey, and if you're nervous, you're gonna be like, Hi, like, I'm Amanda, nice to meet you. I'm like, quiet, quiet. Or you can just be like, hi, like, so nice to meet you. How are you? Like, that's, I could do either. I still feel the same way inside, but it's just how you project yourself. So that is the kind of thing. That's like why 
I think people in high school would be like, yeah, but that one girl, everyone loves that girl. She's so confident and she knows how to talk to everyone. I know how it feels like to look at that, but that's also because that one girl, she walks into the room and she's like, hey guys, what's going on? Like, that doesn't make her any more actually confident on the inside. She just knows how to project herself. So really choose what, um, might work for you that was just some of my advice and something to think about so don't be afraid of what people like if people are judging what you say or what you have to say or if you're like oh that was dumb like don't even worry about that kind of stuff because everyone is also thinking the same thing as you so also being open and like accepting the fact that like sometimes you're gonna say something stupid that makes people also want to talk to you more and appreciate what you have to say because they're like you know what like yeah like you get it yeah so that was my little rant for you guys and now I'm jumping on my bed um so I hope that helps someone out because that's kind of what my secret to life was I was like pretending like I knew how to have conversations with people or I'd say things with like a bunch of confidence even though I wasn't exactly sure I would just say it and then it turned into the fact that like once I would say those things that I wasn't completely confident about but I pretended like I was, people responded to it just fine. And they were like, oh really? It was like easier to talk with them. So then that builds up your real confidence to be yourself and meet new people and make friends. So that was a lot and I talked really fast because I had a lot of coffee. Now I'm jumping on my bed again. 